We've got Japanese balloon ornaments coming up after this. Now this is an uh, easy little ornament technique to make. You can use any paper you want. You can use wrapping paper scraps. You can use craft paper. That's what I would normally use. I actually have some 8.5 by 11 craft paper, but it's kind of buried right now. And I did want to show you that Ordinary Printer Bond is a perfect choice, and it's all crisp and clean and clear. And uh, crafty holiday decorations are actually pretty big right now. IKEA had a huge selection of crafty decorations. So first you need to turn whatever paper you have into a square. An easy way to do that is you get your two straight ends, you will fold them to the side. You want to make a triangle and you want to make it perfectly. So all of this has to be perfect and all of your creases should be really, really strong creases. So press really hard. You can use your fingernail and scrape. I didn't do it perfect, but that's okay, I guess. I should have set a good example. I didn't have my glasses on, or did I? And then you want to get rid of this piece. You can simply take your scissors and cut this off. I normally don't even bother and we'll just fold this up and do this, make a very strong crease. Open it up, do it again, make a very strong crease. Fold it back the other way, make another strong crease. Fold it back again, make another strong piece. I'm weakening the paper here. And then something else you can do is you can put your DNA on it. That should, really be, that should really weaken it, and then you can just rip off the corner, and you have yourself a square piece of paper. Now you're going to want to make all of these folds. You're going to match this corner to this corner, make another triangle. These are your work folds. Well, this is an uncomfortable position for me, but I'm only going to be making one, I think, today. And then you make this, you fold it in half, so it is a rectangle. And open it up and you do it again. You want all of your creases and try to be as perfect and precise as possible. Did I say you could use newspaper? You could use, like, Chinese newspapers, too. Japanese probably would be ideal. Okay, so you have this piece of paper. Now, if you make your creases really, really creased, like I said, this step will be much easier. And there probably are easier ways to do this. But this is how I learned, and I think it is the best way. So you grab these two little points here and you're going to want to fold them and meet them inside and make a triangle like so. That is probably the hardest step. Let me show you that again. So hold it like this. You're going to want to get this. Poke this corner and poke this corner. Again, if your creases are good, then you're going to want to match them up and then fold them in and make this triangle. If you're having problems with that, let me know. I might 
look into an easier way to do this. So what you come up with is this pyramid with two, like a star pyramid with these two points going in and you wanna lay it flat. Next, you're gonna take this corner up to this corner and you're going to match it up like so. And instead of taking this through the whole step, I think I will, we'll do that all the way around. So then we'll take this one corner, just the one side, one layer up. So one layer up. And I believe that they call this a origami balloon. I think this is a balloon. Flip it over. So the square that you created is on the bottom. And then do the same on the other side. Fold the points up to the middle. And fold this point to the top point, and you will be left with a diamond and all of these pieces pointing up. Like so. So hopefully this is what you created. If not, return, rewind a little bit, and go back. Now next we want to fold this point to the middle. Just one layer again, just the top layer. All my lights are a little over modulated. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this. We have to make another clearer video again. Leave your comments below to the middle. I better unharshen this light right now. Again, just the top layer but there's lots of stuff in there and you're folding that point to the middle. Thinner paper is actually better for this. I mean, not tissue paper thin, but thinner because I am getting some wrinkles and stuff. And those are actually those wrinkles, the thicker, the deeper you make your creases, the less you are going to get those. Flip it over and do the same to the other side. These ends to the middle. These ends to the middle. Now you will have a closed side, a side that is closed on the bottom, and then you'll have the side should be the top where you have all of the little corners of the paper are now folded to the top. So you want those at the top part. You're going to fold this piece down like this, and you're gonna use this to crease it on. So that's a pretty easy step to do. And I think we're just gonna finish this side by going all the way. So then after you fold that down, then you're gonna fold this in to meet the inside. Now here is the second trickiest part of it. So once that you've made this little triangle, you're going to look under here, and you're going to notice that there's a pocket, and you're going to stick that little triangle down inside the pocket and that's going to hold it into place. Let me show you that again. Fold this corner down, use that edge to make the triangle, then fold this over, over itself to make a triangle on top of the triangle. You pull that out and you reveal underneath it, you have this edge, but you have to get into here, and there's a little pocket in there, and you're gonna stick this little triangle, two-layered triangle, and you're gonna stick it inside the pocket, and it holds it into place. 
Okay. Again, you fold this down along the edge, the crease of the edge. You fold the point of it inward to match the triangle on the inside. You open it up. You find the pocket. And then you stick the little corner down inside the pocket and you let it fold in on itself. Out to the side, use that edge to make your triangle pointing outward. Fold it inward over itself in half. It's on, it's on top of the pocket. So you fold this down, you lift it out. No, sorry, I'm backwards. You lift it outward, you reveal the pocket that's there. Open the pocket. Put in the triangle. Like little in there. Hopefully you got it. Hopefully you see it. And you are done now. This is the balloon. We are going to open it like this. You're going to open it so you have a star, the four sides. And at the top, you'll see this is the bottom and this is the top. So you can see there's a hole and you are actually going to blow into it. So you really did want to make that shape. Let me see if I can show you that again. You definitely want to make this shape. You want to have it open and you want to hold it just loosely. And you're gonna, and it's good to hold it like this, I would say. Put your two fingers into here. I guess you could do it like this too. It wouldn't matter. And then blow into it and voila you have yourself a paper balloon and it's really easy to put a string on this too so it's got really nice geometric shapes yet it's still a paper balloon and really easy to string that i would use jute of course because it's a nice natural material and you might cut off a piece that's the right dangly size. This is really thick jute, so it's probably going to work really well. No, no tape or anything. I guess you could get out the glue if you wanted to, the hot glue. But I just thought I could, I just thought to do this. Oh yeah, just stuff that down inside the hole. And there you go. You got this little hanging natural ornament that's beautiful and clean, modern, yet kind of antique and modern at the same time, depending on what papers you use, and lots of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this little craft minute. <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.